I prefer to show direct variations like this because uh, if we have a direct variation as two equivalent fractions, then it's usually pretty simple to solve for one of the unknowns. Even if one of those, um, whether it's the y1 or the any of the x values there shown right there, is some kind of poly polynomial, bi binomial, it doesn't matter. So I prefer to see it like this. So some of the methods we use to solve it when we have equivalent fractions like this, cross multiplication, some people like fishy method, bow tie method, means and extremes. Fit, did I say fishy method already? I like fishy method a lot. So in this scenario right here, we just need to determine if it's a direct variation or an inverse variation. So uh, direct variation, like if you're getting paid $8 an hour, if it's very directly, then if you work two hours, you would expect to get 16 bucks, for example, right? An inverse variation usually has to do with some kind of work example like this. So if you do a job in an hour, in two hours with 10 people, um, how many people would you need to do the job in half an hour? You need twice as many people because you're doing it in half the time. See that inverse relationship? It's two times one, but it's half of the other. Well, let's check this one out. So let's look at some of these. We've got seven painters doing a job in 42 hours. If we have six painters, then we can do the job in 49 hours. So we increased the number of painters by one, which gave us uh, 42 hours. And it looks like we have a rate of, those numbers seem a little off. Seven painters do the job in less time. Less painters do the job in more time. Uh, well, we could make the direct variation on this. We've got seven painters in 42 hours. Now, if this is equal, then we know it's proportional. If it's not, then we just by the process of elimination, it should be inverse. So we've got six painters in 49 hours. Um, you see how this does not give us an equivalent fraction right there? These are not e equal. So it has to be inversely related. Which kind of makes sense. If we add a painter, then we can do it in less hours, which is what I said already, right? And if you have less painters, then it takes more hours. See how that's the inverse part of that? You have more, which makes less, or less, which makes more. This one, we, we weren't actually solving for anything, I apologize. Yeah, the answer is just that it's an inverse relationship. It's a big word, relation. I should have given myself more space, but that'll do.